In today's video, we're going to go over how to use the Nmap script TSO Brute. You would use this script to brute force your way into a TSO account on ZLS. If you haven't watched it already, or if the term TSO is new to you, I recommend you go watch the other video on TSO user enumeration. In that video, I give a quick demonstration on what TSO is. So here we have a current version of Nmap, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to do what we normally do. We're going to connect to port 23, skip name resolution, get the banner, and make sure our mainframe is up. And now from here, what we can do is we can pass it the script TSO brute. This script takes a bunch of script arguments, so keep up with me here. First, we're gonna pass it a user database. So I have a list of known users from the last video. Next, we're gonna pass it a password database, which I've set conveniently as passdb current folder. Then, because it's a test system, I'm gonna limit the number of threads that we hit the system with. So that's brute.threads equals one and brute.start equals one. By default, the brute library will actually try the user as a password. We want to disable that with user as pass equals false. The unpassword database has a time limit of about 30 minutes. So we're going to change that to be unlimited. Finally, I'm going to just turn on verbosity. So here you can see it's trying user IDs and passwords and it's found, already found a valid password. By default, the script will actually try to do enumeration first on the first pass. So that on the second pass and third pass and fourth pass, it's not retrying known bad user IDs. Here you can see Nmap was successfully able to brute force five accounts. Now from here, we just use any of the accounts that we stole. I'm gonna connect, TSO. Now we're gonna log in with the password. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Or you can follow me on Twitter at mainframed767.